We are right on the edge of the bull market. Today, I wanna to walk through all my crypto token holdings, and I'm gonna show you just the real numbers, how much I have, how much it's worth, what I'm excited about, what I think are probably gonna be busts. This is not intended for you to copy. Okay, I just want you to see what I am holding on to right now, and stay tuned to the end, because I'll show you my total numbers here at the end. Hey, so I am currently at Ethereum Denver, uh, in Denver, that's, why it got its name. Um, and so I recorded this video last week. The prices are going to be way different because Bitcoin and all the crypto market has been on a tear. So you can ignore the prices, um, but you can still see a distribution of everything that I have. So I still put the video out. Just wanted to let you know these prices are actually way higher than when I recorded this video. So enjoy. So, and we're gonna start with my least holding, work my way up to what I have the most of. Um, I have here the token, how much of the token I hold, what the current price is, how much the amount I hold is at this current price, what the all-time high is for that token, and then I'll show you if we are able to get back to all-time highs, how much it will be worth at that point. So starting with my smallest holding is Matic. So Matic is the gas token on the Polygon network. And Polygon is a layer two that's built on top of Ethereum. And it holds a special place in my heart because all of the NFTs I do, I do on the Polygon network. It's basically the same technology as Ethereum, but it's way, way faster, way lower gas fees. What I'm most excited about in Polygon are the partnerships though. They're partnered with Nike, Starbucks, MasterCard, Adobe, Facebook, Reddit, Google Cloud, Mercedes, Adidas, did I say Adidas already? So it seems like as these real world companies start to get into blockchain technology, Polygon seems to be the chain of choice for most of the big ones. So if, for example, Disney starts doing major things on the blockchain, the price of Matic is gonna shoot up as more and more gas is used there. So I don't hold a ton, I'm DCAing in, I have 1500 right now. The price is 96 cents, which means I have about 1400 bucks there. Now, if we get back to all-time highs, 292, which again, we could hit all-time highs. We could blow all-time highs out of the water. Who knows? But if we're able to get back to all-time high, it'll be about a three and a half X for my Polygon. It'll be worth 4,300. Again, I am looking to increase this holding probably to like 3,500 or so, maybe more. I'm just gonna keep DCA. Next token we have is Suka. This is a meme token, Dejitaru Suka. And I bought this back in the meme token craze. I just wanted exposure to some meme token. You know, in case we end up with a Shiba Inu. The Shiba Inu went where if you bought $1,000, a year later, it was worth a billion dollars. And so just in case something like that happens, I want to have a meme token. I don't have super high hopes for it. It has no utility, really. But I'm holding 72000 It's currently at about $0.02, cents, which means I have about 1600 bucks of Tsuka. All-time high is $0.16. Cents. So if we get back to that, then it'll be worth 11 k It'll be about a 6X or 7X on what I have now. And again, if we somehow get to like $1.50, there you go. I'll be sitting pretty. If we do a Shiba Inu and get to 100 bucks, 7 million bucks. Okay, so again, I don't have high hopes for this, but I wanted at least one meme token. You can't be a crypto bro and not have a meme token. So the next one we have is Quant. So in Quant powers what's called the overledger. And it's designed for crypto to work between chains. So they have what are called M apps, multi-chain apps. Because right now there's over a thousand different blockchains. You know, Ethereum, BSC, Bitcoin, Polygon, Arbitrum, Avalanche. I mean, there's so many. There's over a thousand. So as the real world starts to move into crypto, average everyday people aren't going to want to try to figure out, okay, which chain do I need to be on? Businesses aren't going to want to create different apps for the Polygon chain and the Ethereum chain. So Quant is working on putting these chains together and creating M apps, multi-chain apps to connect the chains together. So they're currently partnered with Oracle, which is one of the biggest technology companies in the world. So again, that partnership I'm excited about and just love the technology, what they're trying to do. Um, I currently have 22, the price is 104. So I currently have 2,300 bucks, all time high is 428. And I do think that Quant will get back to that and will beat that eventually. But if they do, that'll be 10K. That's another one I'm dollar cost averaging in. I would like to have more exposure to it. So DCAing in. The next one on the list is Foxify. And this is Danny from the MDB project, if you were a part of that. Honestly, the reason I'm holding so much is my MDB. I was holding a bunch of that and it got rolled into Foxify. Um, but I'm okay with that. So Foxify is a peer-to-peer -peer trading platform. So if Foxify ends up taking off, which Danny's a great leader, so I think it could. This token will do well. 
as well. So I currently have 9,175, price is 61 cents, so it's worth 5,641. All time high is 84 cents, which I imagine Foxify will blow that out of the water. We're actually not too far from all time high. I probably won't be buying more, but I'm definitely gonna hold on to it, see what it does through the bull market here. Next one I have here is the ADS token. So this is a project that is part of the Constellation Network, and they're kind of looking to dethrone Google as an advertiser. So, you know, Google makes a lot of money off of your advertising data. Facebook like makes a lot of money off of your advertising data. So they're looking to make it so that you own your own advertising data and then you can sell it to the advertisers. Fairly low market cap. It's been on a little bit of a tear here, kind of a mini bull market but I am glad to have a chunk of ADS. So I currently have 27,000, it's at 23 cents. So it's worth $6,378. Again, if we get back up to all time high, which is $5.72, then my holding will be worth 155K. So I'm hoping for that. Big fan of ADS. The next one is the elephant token. So this is kind of one of my last DeFi holdings that I'm, I'm holding on to because I love the community. I love the elephant community. The price hasn't been great here. Since October, we kind of hit you know, some, some highs there and it's kind of gone down since then. But I'm just holding on to see what it does through the bull market. Interestingly enough, a male elephant is called a bull. So, I mean, is there some connection there? Who knows? I have two... 25 billion, is that that number? Uh, one thing I don't like about Elephant is they use too big of numbers. Like the price, you can't even really see. There's too many zeros in it. But I currently have, it's worth 6,400 bucks right now. If we reach all time highs, it'll be worth 150K. So again, I'm just gonna hold on to it. We'll see what it does through the bull market. Love the community, awesome community. A lot of Christians in that community. My seventh smallest holding is Ethereum. So if Bitcoin is the grandfather of crypto, Ethereum is the grandmother, we'll say. So I currently am holding on. So you guys know Ethereum has the second highest market cap in all of crypto, and it's not even close. It's the most popular smart contract chain. If we get back to NFT season, most NFT projects are on Ethereum. So I'm currently holding on to four. Um, I hold more for some gas, but I have four that it's like, hey, I'm gonna hold on to four Ethereum and see what it does. It's currently at almost 3,000 bucks. So it's worth about 12,000 bucks. All time high is almost 5K. So if we get back up to that, it'll be worth 20K. We have these Ethereum ETFs potentially coming out. So I mean, if we, I think we could blow the all time high out of the water. That's why I'm holding on to my four Ethereum. I'm not as big into Ethereum as some other people are, but want to have some exposure. So next on the list is Constellation DAG. And I've been a fan of DAG for a long time. DAG stands for Direct Acyclic Graph. Is that right? Directed Acyclic Graph. But essentially, it's better technology. It's blockchain, but it's faster and there are no gas fees. So this really opens it up to a lot of real life business use cases. Again, if you're wanting to use the blockchain a lot, you can't be paying gas fees and you, it can't be slow at all. So I think a lot of companies that need super fast, no gas fee transactions are going to come to some directed acyclic graph, whether it's Constellation, there are a few others. One thing I like about DAG, well, I like the team. I was able to go out to LA, meet the team, spend some time with them. They're also partnered with Amazon Web Services, as you can see there, and also the US Air Force. So the government, it looks like they're wanting to use Constellation DAG. So that means I wanna use Constellation DAG. I currently have 300K, it's at five cents right now. So it's 15K, 16K. All time high is 45 cents. So if we're able to get back to all time highs, I'll have 135K of DAG, which interestingly enough, this is closer to what I bought it at, which is sad, but it is what it is. Patience, it's a virtue. Next, ninth smallest holding is Kadena. I actually have several Kadena miners, so this is actually a little bit of a sore subject for me. When Kadena was at closer to all-time highs, I bought a bunch of Kadena miners. I, I spent 150K on Kadena miners. Terrible investment, wouldn't recommend, zero out of 10 because now the miners are worthless. But I do have a whole bunch of Kadena that I mined. Uh, KD is the native token on the Kadena blockchain, which what they're aiming for is the security of Bitcoin with the speed of Ethereum. 
One thing I'll say is they haven't done a lot of marketing, but they've been working closely with regulators. So if the U.S., you know, the U.S. likes to get their hands into things and mess around with it. Um, Kadena has done a really good job of staying talking with regulators so that when regulation comes, I think Kadena will be a good fit there. So currently I have 30000 at a dollar. So I have about 32 k worth of Kadena. If it gets back to all-time high, almost a million bucks, 829 k I will have of Kadena. So I really hope they're able to kind of get that together, get back to near all-time highs. My 10th smallest holding is XRP. So this is built by Ripple. Their goal is to have fast, inexpensive payments worldwide. So I do believe that at some point, all banks will be using XRP for sending payments, you know, across seas instead of these silly wires and things that we do now. I don't know how long that will take. So we've been waiting many years Ripple did win their lawsuit against the SEC, so that is a win. Also, when it comes to partnerships, I do not like the World Economic Forum, okay, WEF. I do not like it, but they love Ripple. And I've seen that the World Economic Forum tends to get what they want. People who partner with the World Economic Forum tend to have good results, and they are partnered with Ripple. So I think as the WEF wants to do more globalization type things, Ripple is going to be a part of their plans. I don't necessarily agree with it, but you know what? I'm okay taking some profit from it. Currently have 95K XRP. It's at 54 cents. So I have about 50K worth of XRP. All time high is $3.40, which if all banks start using it, it's obviously going to blow that number out of the water. But if it does get back to all time highs, it's 323K. Unpopular opinion, but I do think at some point XRP may even break the market cap of Ethereum and Bitcoin. But again, XRP people have been saying this for a long time. So who knows? Not financial advice. But if XRP is able to get to the market cap of Bitcoin, that'd make it $18.31. So then my holding would be worth $1.8 million. So that's why I'm holding on to it. I am not dollar cost averaging anymore. So I feel good at my 50 k here that I have. But I do believe in the future of XRP. Just got a couple more here, and then I will show you the complete totals of what I have. Um, but next is Flux. Flux I got into because of your friend Andy, which if you don't know him, go check out his YouTube channel. But they're looking to be a decentralized cloud. So instead of your files and your software being run on the Amazon cloud, where it's owned by Amazon, if Amazon goes down, your apps go down, your data's gone. If you store your files in Google Drive, for example, it's basically owned by Google. If Google decides, hey, we don't want you to have access anymore. You lose access. So Flux is looking to be decentralized. So they have nodes, you know, that are on thousands of different computers across the world. And your files and your applications, your software runs on their decentralized cloud. So this is way more secure. No one owns your data. And also it's way, way, way cheaper. So if you need an eight CPU cloud computer to run your software, if you use Google Cloud, 617 bucks, Amazon before 67 bucks, this is per month, okay? it's very expensive. Flex 25 bucks, okay? So this could save a lot of companies a lot of money. The biggest thing they need to do is kind of work on the user experience because it's kind of, I've tried setting up an app on Flux, a little bit difficult. But if they're able to get that and to get the technology correct, get the user experience correct, I think they could really disrupt this industry. So I currently have 70,000. I'm so sorry, at current prices, it's worth about 60K. All time high is $3.33, which if we get back up to there, I'll have 233K worth of flux. So next on the list, and this is my second biggest holding, uh, is BioFi. This one holds a special place in my heart. I am an advisor for the team. Brian, the CEO, one of my best friends. We get together and pray every single week. He's come and stayed at my house here in Lincoln. So really love the BioFi team. Of course, you know some of the products that they have that use the BioFi token, but the Unisafe box is a password manager that's on the blockchain. They have the cryptic wallet. Um, they have Satec technology, which is biometrics on the blockchain. But of course, their big push right now is the Phoenix X phone. So this is a blockchain phone that they are, are launching, starting in South Africa, going to the rest of Africa, and then to the world. But really excited about this phone, and a portion of the revenue is going to just go to buy BioFi off the market. So as the phones sell, the BioFi price will be going up. Of course, we have the BioFi NFTs to help fund the initial batch of phones, but I'm a big fan of this one. I have like 110 million BioFi. Okay, I have a lot of BioFi. 
it's currently at this. So I have about 100K worth of BioFi. If we get back to all time highs of three cents, I'm gonna have about over $3 million worth of BioFi. So again, hoping that that happens. So in the, my last token, my biggest holding, and then I'll go through kind of my totals, but my biggest holding is, can you guess? Let me know in the comments, guess what my biggest holding is. You should know, but it is Bitcoin. So I think when it comes to bang for your buck and security, I think Bitcoin is the top. So I currently have 4.7 Bitcoin. I am DCAing. Um, I'm also part of several projects where they mine Bitcoin and I receive those. Current price is 51K. So my current Bitcoin's worth about 242,000. And all time high is 70K, which I think we are gonna blow that out of the water. If we get back to 70K, I'll have 324. I think we'll see 100K Bitcoin easily. A lot of people say in the next 10 years, we're going to see a million dollar Bitcoin, which again, I don't know, but I do like Bitcoin. I'm going to hold on to it waiting for that. So these are all my tokens. If you add up the total value currently, I currently am holding about 536K. And these are just tokens I hold. You guys know I go through my passive income projects monthly. I'm not including that in here. These are basically just my hold ones, but... If everything was able to get back to all-time highs, which I know is not going to happen, but you can still have fun just seeing if everything got back to all-time highs, it'd be worth 5.6 million. And most of that is from BioFi here. So if BioFi alone is able to get back, you know, what if BioFi gets to a dollar? Oh my goodness. That'd be crazy. So there you have it. That's my portfolio. I'll leave a link to my video where I go through my passive income projects. Those are kind of separate from these just hold ones, my DCA coins. Hope this is helpful for you. Let me know in the comments what your favorite tokens are. What am I missing in my portfolio? I may listen to you. I may ignore you, but I would love to hear anyways. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a great rest of your day.